Hello, beautiful beings. So today I'm in, uh, come and visited uh, Mark's mum and Mark know of a woman here who lives in Bali who has this uh, centre of well, they have a little school and it's uh, called Ananda Marga and so they practice meditation and yoga and nobody's here at the moment but we arrived so took the opportunity to record a video sounds of the jungle is really beautiful and I just recorded some dragonflies which are four or five of them just dancing around I love dragonflies especially when you catch you know catch one it stops or you can really spend time observing so yesterday's video I spoke about struggling and then I woke up this morning and uh, a friend had sent a message that she's really struggling and I was <clears throat> contemplating more about the struggle and the waves and just being a great surfer and and actually just acknowledging myself and patting myself on the back for how I have overcome my own adversity and overcome my own struggles in life and how I see how I just my perspective on things and and then today I was really just being with this whole thing around you know the power of words and the power of um, how you know the words we have the opinions we have the the words we use against ourselves and on others is you know is really powerful one of the things that i always talk about in with transparent communication and transparency is you know how are we talking to ourselves like if our cell if we have like 60 trillion cells or 100 trillion cells however many trillions of cells in our body if we see each one of those cells as uh, intelligence which it is and each one of those cells is like almost like you could see it as a as a baby as a little being then you know you're you're communicating constantly to like 60 60 or more trillion little beings in your body and and you know recently my practice has been to really catch my own diminishing thoughts and and really be sharp and and get tight even tighter with the awareness the awareness tool, you know, training the awareness tool to get even sharper with catching yourself when you're judging yourself, putting yourself down, you know, being harsh to yourself, uh, words of maybe self-doubt or, um, you know, being, yeah, but mostly for me, my ones have always been just really being hard on myself, like, you know, uh, we're, we're built and programmed and agree to uh, programs in ourselves from such a young age about success and about achieving and about being somebody and, and we're always, uh, we're naturally in, indoctrinated to compare ourselves all the time to, to everything. Compare ourselves to other people and, and compare ourselves to um, people we admire. And yeah, we, one of the processes of transparent communication is getting clear on, you know, the forms of communication that we have adopted that are not necessarily actually beneficial to us. They don't actually support us. So transparency is about getting clear with that and going ah, actually like do these words help me if I keep putting myself down comparing myself challenge you know saying that I'm um, you know not good at this or my body's too small or um, yeah I'm I've not achieved enough or I never complete enough things and these are some words that I catch myself saying like you know that's not completed this is not completed and always looking at the, the to-do list and not the done list so a few years ago I started changing that and was focusing on the done list. So focus on the things you have done and you have achieved. And my measure of success, my personal measure of success is success is measured in two ways. One, in what you have, who you are and what you have left when everything's gone, meaning that all your money, every, all your possessions, everything, who are you then? And also my other measure of success is what you've overcome in life. So. Um, I look at, you know, I acknowledge myself and love myself on the space of what I've overcome in life and what I, and how I now choose to live and the way I live. And I, I, that's my own personal measure. It doesn't have to be yours, doesn't have to be anybody else's, but it's mine. So I don't get caught up in society's measure of, you know, bank balance or achievements or so on. And don't get me wrong, they, you know, that indoctrinated program is in there sometimes and tries to creep in, but you have to be, you know, 
sharp with your awareness to 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 be to be aware of which thought forms and beliefs or opinions or ideas are driving your behaviors so that's really what's uh, really alive in me today and yeah I'm really being impeccable to your word you know like the word has power and you know they, you heard the saying that everything starts with the word but the word really does have power and, and you know I grew up using words as a way to defend myself and protect myself and that's how we use words and words they carry a frequency a resonance they're very powerful um, just look at what's been created in the world by certain people that have you know um, manipulated and coerced and empowered others to do destructive things you know wars and genocide and so much abuse in the world is it's created from gossip you know gossip is like the main um, the main communication one of the main communication techniques of our whole species everybody loves to gossip gossip constantly putting ourselves down putting other people down we, we get off on putting people down we get off on negative stories we get off on drama we get off on fear you know because fear is a powerful force and just again using it as an example I, I'm writing about this at the moment in the book that I'm putting together is that um, you know I was you know and you have to check in with myself all the time to make sure I'm still not at times but we I was addicted to fear so as a criminal when when I was younger like you get the buzz of um, uh, you had the buzz of uh, doing things wrong the buzz of crime the buzz of being somebody the buzz of taking drugs the bug the buzz of hedonism the buzz of um, going out and 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 um, yeah, committing um, crimes was driving the chemical releases of, of fear and at the same time that would release endorphins and release chemicals into the body that I would um, be addicted to. And I didn't realise that at first for a long, long time until I started looking into addiction and understanding that, you know, it's not just about being addicted to drugs, we can be addicted to everything, you know, as we can see in the world today. So, you know, even the dopamine, um, the dopamine hit that we now, everyone's addicted to on like Facebook, social media, and these, these devices that we're holding, that I'm holding in my hand. Um, you know, you start to realize when you start to look at the chemicals in your body and how we're addicted to certain chemicals in our body and, and the things that release those chemicals, then we start to look close to it like, wow, wow, I was actually addicted to fear. And it wasn't until in my later age that I even started to explore what fear was. You know, 20, first book I read on fear Fear the Friend of Exceptional People by Jeff Thompson was, I think I was about 20, maybe 25, maybe 20, maybe later, I can't remember the exact time, but that was one of the first books I read, Fear the Friend of Exceptional People. And to really start to see how fear drives us and fear runs us. And then you can start to see how, why so many movies and so many um, uh, products in our society are sold, because they're sold to us based on our um, addiction to fear so that just links in today with um, yeah I guess yeah I guess with what I was pondering around struggle and 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 communicating your truth and you know most people won't speak their truth because they're scared right so fear comes in again most people are scared of um, losing something which is fear of loss fear of loss death is about fear fear of dying and you know, so fear, fear is a very interesting um, aspect of our human experience because fear can drive us, fear can become a friend, it can navigate us, it can lead us places and at the same time fear can be really debilitating and um, wipe us out and cause so much uh, suffering. And gossiping and drama, when we talk about transparency and transparent communication, gossiping drama and and talking about other people and putting people down and judging people, like at the core that comes from fear. Yeah, we're scared to say what we really feel. We're scared to, you know, um, you know, go against the norm. So we just, you know, continue to like just do what everybody else does, and and drama, and um, you notice this in films and stuff. You know, a lot of it's uh, all about, um, uh, you know, that sort of feeding that um, that fearful energy, that scared energy. Yeah. And if you look closely in yourself, you can start to ask yourself, like, where, where is fear driving my choices? Or where is fear driving my dialogue? Or am I speaking from fear right now? Am I 
am I personalising and assuming or, or am I actually uh, gossiping and making up stories and giving my opinion when actually it's just not valid? It could actually be dimin diminishing the person or the people, it could be diminishing the conversation and so on. So today is me just yeah, sharpening, that, sharpening that awareness tool is really powerful. Um, and this morning when I woke up, I did, my, I did some, uh, some light yoga practice, some breathing. I do this Wim Hof breathing technique, which I think I've put the link in the, below these videos. And, and then I did a, 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 a short meditation and went out and had a beautiful breakfast. And then I was just like really in that nice spaciousness, you know, and, and pondering about the thoughts that come in and being really aware of the, the thoughts that come in and then choosing which ones are, you know, allowed to come and create life or are just diminishing and are no longer welcome. So it's like getting super sharp with what thoughts are driving and creating feelings. And just because we have a thought and just because we have feelings, it doesn't make them true. So when we're even struggling, just gonna just finish off on this bit, coming full circle back to like when we're really struggling, the, the, we're struggling and then the thoughts that we're having are creating the feelings and the feelings are creating the thoughts and the thoughts are creating the feelings and we get in this, this, this loop. So if we don't break the loop and we don't change, like I said in yesterday's talk, we don't change the way we perceive struggle or perceive uh, failure and we don't see ourselves as like, oh, actually, what's the, what's the message of this uh, struggle or failure? What's the, what's the message here? How can I learn from this? If we don't look at it like that, then we're coming from a completely different perspective and that other perspective can be quite diminishing and quite challenging and, and create all sorts of other uh, diseases within us. So, so there you go, just a continuation today around, um, yeah, just around diminishing thoughts and, and the perception of struggling and failure. <laughs> so this is day 14, we're rolling along and yeah, and today I'm going to start creating some of this new character that I'm going to be bringing to the world to share some fun and laughter and inspiration and joy and fun and playfulness because that's why I love it. <laughs> I love him. And where, wherever you are in the world, just love yourself. Just that's it. All messages, all, all, all messengers, all the exploration and research and studying and reading and watching that I've done over the years. When we live transparently, when we love ourselves, really, just as we are right here, we love every cell in our body, then the way we engage with life, everything else takes on a very different, a very different, um, yeah, just a very different way of engaging. We engage with life so differently. So it really is, it's, 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 it's very simple and you start to really become very aware so awareness is amazing because you become so aware of like, oh, well that, that thought created that, oh, I'm thinking this, that, oh, if I act like this, oh, this person creates that, oh, that energy is coming to me. You start to pick up on energies very, very sensitively. And then you can just make conscious choices and respond and take full responsibility of you and your actions and, and where you place yourself and how you experience, in, where you place yourself in life and how you experience and engage with others and all of life. Sending you love. Take care. Greetings from Bali.